Hey guys, Fanny Moore here, and today we're gonna take a look at the uh, season one reboot version of the Omnitrix from Ben 10, the reboot series. I'm also gonna be comparing it to the season three version, which I have right here, which I should have done the review of this Omnitrix first, but I didn't have it. So yeah, let's get started. It actually really does resemble the original version. Uh, from, except for, like, this button here, which wasn't on the original, but other than that, it's pretty close. It fits on my arm pretty well, but I do, don't like the strap that much. It's kind of bad. It, so, yeah. Uh, you have three modes, demo, off and on. Demo is what they have it in store, obviously, so let's turn it on. That's the sound you always hear when it turns on. Uh, see, no sounds work if you just press. If you just press the button, like right now, it's just in standby phase. But if you slam it, press it down, like on Cannonball, you will get a transformation noise. Okay, see, as you can see, the uh, they're just random, but I think those are all of the sound effects. And I would have, that's a little warning sign before the power down noise, which we should get here soon. So we're just going to wait on that. Okay, we're getting closer. It'll turn red, like the actual one does in the show, so that's cool. My problem with the uh, reboot is they took out a few aliens from the Omnitrix and replaced them. Okay, so now that we went over Cannonbolt, and you can release it at any time. Let's tr go to Forearms. Okay, I think that's all of his phrases. So after forearms, we have upgrade, who isn't in the uh, who's only on this version of the Omnitrix. Control console. Yeah, I, yeah, you can just press this button at any time to make it go back to normal, but it'll still do the sound effects. Okay, so after upgrade, we have gray matter. Me in class. Who are you calling miniature? Gray matter can solve this puzzle. Sometimes smaller is better. Except for where it counts. Say hello to the big brain. What is your malfunction? Okay, yeah. It has like touch sensitivity, so like. It has motion sounds, so. You know, let's go to accelerate.
Okay, I think that's all of his. Next we have... Oh. That's interesting. I didn't notice it did that sound effect like when switching. Okay, I think that's all of Overflow's phrases, but like, Overflow is one of the aliens they added, but they removed, uh, Wild Mutt, which was a good alien from the original series, and Ghost Freak, and replaced them with having Wild Bunnet and Cannonbolt already. Uh, there was a third one that they took out, I don't remember who. I don't remember the third alien that they had removed for this. Uh, if I remember it, I'll let you know. Here goes. Okay, yeah, that's standby noises. Next, we have Stinkfly, which I don't like the redesign. I just don't. Let's get stinky. Oh, man. This hero stuff ain't easy. Stinkfly. Let's get stinky. Float like a butterfly, sting like a stinkfly. Oh, man. This hero stuff ain't easy. Okay, I think that's all of Stink Fly's phrases. Now we have a Diamond Head, who's one of my favorites of the, any season. Okay, I think that's all his phrases. Next we have Wild Vine. Who did they remove? Ripjaw! They removed Ripjaw. Okay, let's finish Wild Vines. Okay, I think that's end of Wild Vines phrases. Next we have... Eat less. Shouldn't scorching be above extra crispy? Where there's smoke, there's heat blast. Oh yeah, did you see that? I'm hot stuff. Fighting fire with fireballs. Where there's smoke, there's heat blast. Oh yeah, did you see that? I'm hot stuff. Who wants to play hot potato? Justice burns. I have three modes. Hot, scorching, and extra crispy. Okay, yeah, that's all of the ones... All of the alien and their noises for this Omnitrix. Overall, I think it's a good solid toy. Oh yeah, one more thing. If you like have it slammed down and turn it off and then turn it back on, it's in the red mode. Which if you want to like be like bam when the Omnitrix is about to self-destruct, you can use this light. And like just have it in this mode, but like if you turn it, it'll go back to normal. So yeah. Overall, like, comparing it to this one, this one is more small and streamlined and can fit better. This one's kind of chunky, but, like, the original design was too. I just wish it had a better strap on it. But overall, I would recommend this Omnitrix if you want, want the original or the reboot series and cosplay as one of them. Uh, remember to like and share this video, and I'll see you guys next time.